Are you also sick and tired of the mass Guardians of the Rift world failing over and over again? Waiting outside for 12 minutes to get into a game? Want better XP rates? And just straight up not having a good time here? I have the perfect solution for you. Let's move somewhere where it's a bit more... Quiet. Welcome to my guide of Small Teams Guardians of the Rift. In this guide I will be explaining the basics of the Small Teams method and going over some tips and tricks to get the best experience and XP rates. But first I want to inform you guys that I made a Discord server with the help of some friends to help you find teams more easily. So go down to the description and join the Discord. When you have finished this video and joined the Discord, make sure to set your username to your RSN, read all the channels and select the roles before you can start forming teams. Alright, let's get into the method. To explain the method, I'm going to walk you through a round of Guardians of the Rift. I will sometimes pause or slow down to explain things in more detail. But I'm going to assume that you have some experience already at Guardians of the Rift. Like that you know where the altars are, where to mine and where to make essence, and when the portals spawn. But even if you are new here, it's actually really easy to follow, so don't worry. A small team can consist of 2 to 5 players. That is because the guardians that you spawn on the map will increase with 2 per player on the team. And they cap out at 10, so you never want to have more than 5 players on your team, as this impacts the XP rates negatively. This method also works for solo, but it relies more on RNG and isn't really that viable pre-99. So I'm just gonna focus on the small team method for now. So once you have formed your team by using the Discord, I want you to bring your best pouches, at least a rune pickaxe, a chisel and a way to repair your pouches. Since December last year it is possible to repair your pouches with abyssal pearls. You have to pay apprentice Cordelia 25 pearls to unlock the ability and after that it costs 1 pearl per repair. This is really helpful for ultimate Iron Man. Other account types can choose to bring runes for NPC contact. If this is your very first time at Carnage of the Rift or you have never bothered to do this, but please turn off all the talismans from the altars. You can do this by right clicking toggle talisman on the altar you want to toggle it from. But do not toggle the one for nature, fire, blood, law and death. Because those are pretty handy to have since you want more access to higher tier cells. One more thing I want you to do before we go in is to go to the plugin hub and download the Guardians of the Rift helper plugin. This one is really useful for always knowing what's up in the minigame and never lose track of the cycle. Now it's finally time to join me for a games of Guardians of the Rift. Upon entering, pick up a weak cell and 10 uncharged cells. You can use menu entry swapper to make take 10 the left click option. Hold shift and right click to do so. After that, make your way to the east mine. You need 56 agility to get here. Once down here, you can open an interface after you have clicked to move to the rock to stall the mining action. This way you will always start mining as soon as the round starts, increasing the AFK time and decreasing the chance of you forgetting to start mining. And now for the fragments. All players want to mine around 110 fragments and exit the mine when the timer for the game to start is between 40 to 50 seconds left. And if your team consists of primarily giant or large pouches, you guys might want to mine a little extra and leave at 30 to 35 seconds left. After leaving the mine, you want to make your way over to the crafting table. But before you start making your essence, make one weak guardian first and pick up a new weak cell. After that you can chisel your essence. Make sure that the amount of guardians is halfway to the cap, aka every player on your team made one weak guardian. And now, depending on which pouch you are using, you want to chisel to a set amount of fragments left in your inventory. If you're using a colossal pouch, you want to chisel until you have a stack of fragments of around 60, so you can do that in one trip after that. If you're using a giant pouch, make sure to chisel at least under 100, so you can do two more laps. And if you're using a large pouch, just fill up your pouches and probably have to mine some more during the game. And now the round is about to start and pay attention because the first two sets of altars are crucial to successfully completing a round. You want to focus on having a strong or overcharged guardian as soon as possible. And you want to keep the amount of guardians kept during the whole game. So the first set of altars is about to open up. If a strong or overcharged altar opens up, you want to go in immediately, craft runes and make a guardian. 
If the highest altar is medium, you can go in, craft the runes, and then wait and see what the next set of altars are. And if the first set of altars are both weak, you kind of just want to wait for the second set. And now for the second set. So if your first set was a stronger overcharge, you don't really need to do anything. You can grab an extra cell if you have time. If the first set was a medium and a weak, you want to see if the second set is strong or overcharged and then make a medium barrier and go into the strong or overcharged altar. If you get again a medium or weak, you want to just make a medium guardian. And if your first set was double weak, you will at least always get a medium altar for the next round. So just make the guardian from the best altar that you get that next round. So let's see what we get for the first one. We get a strong and overcharged. I'm just going to chisel my fragments until I have 60 left in my inventory and then make my way over to the death altar. But before going into the altar, you want to use your weak cell to build a front barrier. In small teams, you only want to make three barriers in total. You want to prioritize the front one, of course, and you can choose to make the ones on the sides to get some more XP for using excess cells. And after I crafted my runes, uh, we all make a guardian. So the guardians are kept eight out of eight. And then we wait for the portal. I do want to show a less optimal start to a game. So here we get a double weak start. So I just run to the middle barrier to build it to prevent the leeches from getting through. Then I just wait until the second set opens. But then we only get a double medium. So we just go into the medium and build a guardian. Because it's more important to have all the guardians kept than to have a upgraded barrier. And now we just go into the portal. And if you did this correctly, it is pretty much impossible to fill a trio, four or five man. But however, in duo, you do want to keep an eye on the barrier if it's only a weak one. So you might want to run an extra cell after you came back from the portal. So now you just play the game as normal. After the portal, craft some runes. Then finish all your fragments at the crafting table. And sometimes you can leave early at the chiseling, because a good altar has just opened up. Especially if you're an Iron Man, the blood altar is very nice. So I just left at 11 seconds on the altar timer, to be sure that I'm in time to enter the blood altar. The portal spawns between 110 and like 120 seconds on the timer at the top. So sometimes you do have some time left, so you can just run another lap and grab another cell for some extra XP. Then wait for the portal again. And make sure to not lag behind when the second portal is opened up. Because the quicker you guys are in the portal, the quicker the game will finish. So the XP per hour will be a little bit higher. And after the second portal, you will just finish the game if your whole team had a colossal pouch. And if your team didn't have all colossal pouches you probably need to chisel some more essence and if you only had large or giant pouches on your team you probably have to do the third portal and after the guardian power is 100 percent you can do a couple things after the game to get a little bit more xp per hour the altars that were open when you hit 100 percent power will stay open until the game fully ends so if the altars are low tier like in this clip you can run a weak cell for some extra points and then just keep making guardians until the game fully ends. And if a good altar stayed open, you can grab a cell to repair a barrier and then go back into the altar and then stay in the altar until the timer hits zero seconds. And if you leave then, your cell will not get wiped and you can make a guardian to collect some runecrafting XP. And that is pretty much all there is to it. It's actually not that difficult. It may look a little overwhelming at the start. But as long as you do the first minute of the game correctly, you can pretty much just not fail the game. However, in duo, you do want to keep an eye out on the 60% mark. So you probably want to repair or strengthen the barrier first before you proc the 60% threshold. But then again, I do not recommend doing duo straight away if it's your first time here. And for repairing your pouch, you want to do it at least before the game. And if it breaks during the game, you do want to repair it before a portal. So just after you crafted your inventory and you have to wait for some shit altars, just 
just repair your pouch. And for the XP rates, if your team is a Colossal Pouch only team, you can expect rates from 70 to 75k XP per hour. It is possible to get 80k plus if you do the world hopping method. Doing small teams will result in slightly lower reward searches per hour. It is around 26 searches and 75 pearls per hour, so the full outfit will take give or take 24 hours to complete. And the pet is around 140 to 150 hours. If you have different tier of pouches on your team, you can expect around 10% less pearls and searches per hour. And for a giant pouch, the XP rate lies around 55 to 60k XP per hour, and for a large pouch, 40 to 45k. So yeah, that was my guide for small teams Guardians of the Rift. If you found it helpful and enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And if you are interested, do not forget to check out the Discord link down below. And all the information that was in this video is also in a Discord, so you can just read it back real quick, or you can just give the video another watch. So hopefully I see some of you guys at the Rift, and take care everybody.